Every Black History Month, I spend some time watching Eyes on the Prize. I was raised to understand that you cannot know where you're going if you don't know where we've been. This year is a particularly important one for reflection because 50 years ago, Public Law 88352, also known as the Civil Rights Act of 1964, became the law of the land. Of course we know it was the result of great sacrifice, protests and boycotts by many. After the assassination of many civil rights heroes and even more jailings and beatings, the oppressive laws of the land were long overdue for a change. The U.S. House of Representatives passed a final version of the Civil Rights Act on February 10, 1964, and that bill went to the Senate. While the final iteration was ultimately different, it was the bravery and courage of our civil rights heroes, as well as some members of the House and Senate, that led to the measure making its way to Lyndon B. Johnson's desk for signing. I am not trapped in reminiscing on laws enacted prior to my birth because it's Black History Month, but I am reflecting on this critical process today because we can no longer impede progress. Because the frightening thing is, the issues that brought about President Johnson's signing of the Civil Rights Act are still present with us in 2014. So now what? Sure, we can march. But a march is not the end. It is a collective means to an end. We must organize our thoughts, our bodies, and our resources to effectuate change. If we want to see a difference, we must do something different. We must use the tools at our disposal. There are like-minded elected officials, activists, organizers, and influencers all over this country. And together, we can make a difference. The best way for us to commemorate the passage of this historic act is to pass another comprehensive civil rights measure. Because the battle for civil rights and equality is far from over. It's far from over because in 2014, legislators are still introducing measures to suppress the vote. It's far from over because people are killing our children with little to no recourse. It's far from over because there are more than 11 million people who deserve a pathway to citizenship. Our collective civil rights agenda must include income equality, immigration reform, affirmative action, voting rights protections, gun safety, criminal justice reform, educational access, housing affordability, labor union protections, strengthening business enterprises, and the list goes on. And we must take it a couple of steps farther. We must implement this comprehensive agenda on the federal, state, and local levels. This is not a black thing. In fact, my ability to fulfill my dream and the ability of future generations of Americans to fulfill theirs is in your best interest. When folks say it's no longer about civil rights, it's about silver rights, I have to disagree. It's both and. Here's the point. If you are tired of seeing the lives of black children snatched from them before they can fulfill their purpose, if you are weary of fighting for your right to vote, if you are angry because your paycheck is less than your counterparts, if you are exhausted of trying to ensure your kids have the same education with less resources, then I beg you to set aside your time, put your money up, and stand your ground because we have work to do. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. No justice, no sleep, folks. That does it for us. It's time for Now with Alex Wagner. Alex, take it away. Thank you, Angela. Day 11 of the Olympic Games and the clash between Putin